Hello my dear friends, welcome back to the Perfume Channel Exotic Scents and I have two very interesting fragrances for all of you today. Sandalwood is one of my fav favorite fragrance notes. Uh, I really enjoy wearing sandalwood, you know, in its pure, pure form and then of course in fragrances. But there's something very specific about sandalwood and those parameters, if met in a fragrance, you know, it automatically attracts me because sandalwood is something that you can't really cheat with. It's a fantastic, fantastic gift from nature and I feel these two perfumers, these two perfumes capture the essence of sandalwood really, really well. At least to a certain extent where you actually feel that these have actual sandalwood, alright? So the first fragrance is a very popular Santal blush from the house of Tom Ford. Very popular brand and they have this Privé lineup, Santal blush pre uh, belongs in the Privé lineup of Tom Ford, a very influential a fashion designer, fragrance creator. He has come out with fantastic fragrances and, and there's no doubt about it. But the other fragrance that I'm going to talk about is Rude Elements from the house of Kerosene. Kerosene, now this, this may not be um, uh, so common out there. So guys, this brand, Kerosene, was started by a former YouTube reviewer, Mr. John Peck. I'll be very honest with you, I have never watched his reviews. However, after sniffing his fragrances, I was really intrigued by, by, you know, the hand which created these fragrances because these were very original, very unique, uh, a bit abstract, but still uh, the usage of quality materials and the blending and the way the, the ideas were blended, you know, most of these niche fragrances these days carry a very vague idea which is mostly decided by the, 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 the team which is handling the sales and not the perfume making per se. So Rude Elements belongs to someone who of course has a passion for perfumes and that's why his fragrances are directed towards an audience um, who craves unique creativity, uh, passion for perfume making and of course quality of materials because they know that they are paying for something exclusive when the word niche and especially indie is used. So it's an independent artist, Mr. John Pegg, his fragrance Rude Elements. Let me talk about this first. I call it Mr. Sandalwood and the, the, the Tom Ford fragrance, Mr. Sandalwood. There's a reason. This is a very robust scent. The first sniff of this brings a lot of spiciness. That The word rude, if you have a look at the bottle, if you look at the bottle carefully, that's, that's oud, all right? So oud has been used here, but this is not um, one of those ouds which is going to cheat you. There's, there's no pui effect, there's no barnyard, there's no, uh, uh, you know, arsehole effect here. So you can be sure of that. And it's a fantastic, fantastic fragrance for that reason, because John is not taking the customers for a ride or let's say passion lovers for a ride. It's a very fantastic, deep, earthy, rooty sort of note and it's fantastic. I'm not sure if that's real agarwood, but it does remind me of some of certain subtypes of agarwood, especially these maroks, uh, which are found in Southeast Asia. And it's a very specific buried agarwood, which is found buried in mud. And uh, they have a very specific earthy connection. Those are, those are intense, herbaceous, green, not at all leathery, not at all barney but they have the bona fide sweetness of oud, which makes oud oud. So let's spray it on and revisit this fragrance. So this is a 50 ml, I believe, or a 100 ml. I don't remember it. I got it uh, long back, you know. Wow. See, what I feel, it, 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 it's, it's more like cedar wood. It's very spicy. It's very piney. It, it, uh, it's almost like dry pencil shavings or... Uh, a new wooden furniture made with cedar wood, but this is such a fantastic, intense sort of note, uh, and that 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 uh, that the top notes they have this tangy sort of orange accord, but it's it's a powdery, dried um, orange rind rather than a fresh uh, uh, you know uh, orange zest. It's it's not very sparkling. It's not a fresh. Uh, invigorating summary note. It's very, very dark, mature, and uh, this will not appeal to everyone. The opening can be tough on noses who are used to basic fragrances like Dior Sauvage uh, and uh, the Diorome series. If you are a lover of Diorome Parfum, this is or 
one of those fragrances which is extremely popular, Terre de Hermes from the House of Hermes. If you love those fragrances, this is like the natural version of Terre de Hermes. Very piney, herbaceous, quality, standard. And there's this beautiful uh, woody accord which has been used here, which I, also which I also find in one of my favorite fragrances from the House of Ormond Jane, Ormond Jane Man, the first one. So intensely spicy, pencil shavings, and there's this beautiful sweet sweetness coming out of this fragrance which is pretty fantastic almost like a sweetness of clean uh, powdery patchouli mixed in with iris the oris oris root accord which is um, just fantastic it's so 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 lovely it's not it's not completely serious because the seriousness of this fragrance, especially the, the, the first half, uh, it's been contrasted by these lovely, sweet, uh, somethings, absolutely fantastic. It does not have a gourmand feel, all right? So please don't expect sweetness of vanilla or nuttiness or, uh, or oiliness. It's, it's not at all that. And um, the dry down is heavenly. That's where the sandalwood shines and this fragrance lasts on your skin for a very long time. There's not, there's not much development to it. However, it is a multi-layered scent, so it will open up slowly on your skin. However, you don't get the intense depth. The magic here is in blending. It's, it's, a, very, it's a pretty linear scent. Uh, and um, the quality of the materials makes it just so, so special. The dry down of it is fantastic. Sandal woody, uh, the, the proper incense accord of actual sandalwood oil, precious Mysore sandalwood specifically. It does not have the airiness, the greeniness, the sticky sweetness, the hayishness of Australian sandalwood, which you find in most synthetic perfumes. It's, it's a very different sort of sandalwood accord and probably he's used a lot of it. Some, uh, some people who do not enjoy such hev uh, heavy woody fragrances might just um, be, be put off by that strong, by the strong woody and piney accords that have been used in this fragrance. But for people who love intense fragrances, this is a fantastic scent to have. Now, there's also one American brand which is known as Olympic Orchids, a fantastic creator, um, creator behind the house. They create some of the most phenomenal scents for a phenomenal price. They had, they had a cedar wood based fragrance which was a gourmand. I, I forgot the name. It, it was absolutely freaky. It was amazing, magnificent when I tried that fragrance. So what the artist did there was combine the beautiful dry peppery note of cedar wood with a beautiful gourmand nutty vanilla. And it was a fantastic creation in my opinion. A very simple scent but a very comforting, soothing blend. Uh, so this is the drier form of that. It, it, it has a very posh feel, a very luxurious feel, a very oriental feel. And uh, this will take you back in time. Alright, this is a very mature fragrance. I don't think you'll get a lot of compliments with this, but you are not going to offend anyone. So just in case you're looking for a fine woody fragrances, uh, a fine woody fragrance which is not going to annoy people around you, this is one of those perfect scents. It's not loud, it's it's not obnoxious. So just give it give it time to settle. You know, the first five minutes could could be a little intimidating with the intense peppery spiciness, the cedariness of this, but it's just amazing. When it, when it, when it, once it's, uh, once it settles down on the skin, it's just fantastic. And I love this fragrance. It's so so masculine, classy, and the value of it. That's where I really where I really like it. If this came from, um, let's say, a popular brand like Roja Dove, now what Roja would do is make it ultra fine everything would be very very nuanced subtle basic it's not it's not one of those fragrances it's for people who love fragrances like atar and um, you know intense oriental fragrances especially people in the middle east they would love this fragrance and the price at which this is offered is also very very pocket friendly all right guys so that was the review of rude elements from kerosene now let's uh, focus on Santal blush from the house of Tom Ford. I'll just spray it on to revise myself. This is, this is a more, this is a, a, a more upscale, a more modern, a more approachable sort of sandalwood and uh, it has this lovely unisex quality uh, as opposed to, to the, the gentleness uh, of this fragrance. Uh, Rude Elements is quite robust, quite masculine, quite, quite strong and imposing. 
Santal blush is blush. It's just um, a feather touch of sandalwood, fine sandalwood accord at that. Very, very nice. Hmm. But initially you will get that alcohol and you will get that irritating uh, synthetic uh, 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 fixative sort of accord. So, you just need to ignore the first, uh, first spray, all right, the, the pre-perfume effect on skin. The fragrance very quickly settles down to this uh, uh, soft, gentle, creamy sandalwood, which is basically the top note of a fine sandalwood fragrance. So, kudos to Tom Ford for capturing the essence of sandalwood in a very realistic way. That's what I love about this fragrance. The fragrance has this, um, this musky, sweet, uh, you know, sporty musk sort of vibe, clean musk, emasculated musk. So it's just the sweetness, the strange sweetness, which is coming in the background, uh, which is, which is forgivable, all right, because the sandalwood just performs beautiful beautifully on a woman's skin. This is definitely not a men's fragrance until and unless it works on your skin. If you have uh, an oily skin like mine, this fragrance has a tendency, a slight tendency to, to go sour on the skin. But if it, this was uh, a, women, uh, a, a woman's skin and a dry one at that, this would just flourish because my wife has a very, uh, you know, has a completely different uh, skin texture as opposed to mine and it just just goes ballistic on the skin. It lasts lasts all day. On uh, on people like me who sweat a lot, and you know those who have oily skin, you will get a maximum of four hours maybe um, on a good day. But on dry skins, this this has, you know, this could go uh, easily eight to twelve hour range with a very good sea hash. When my wife walks around in the house, I get to smell uh, a proper sandalwood accord. Accord on her. I don't. I don't agree with body chemistry. I feel it's more about the texture of the skin, the moisture of the skin, and you know the rate of evaporation depends on so many physical factors on your skin and the glands on your skin, the secretions, etc., etc. So I don't know about body chemistry, but this performs very different on my skin and very differently on my wife's skin. It is just a fantastic, seducing fragrance. Very very authentic, lovely fragrance and it has the modern powdery sort of effect. When I, when I sniff this fragrance, I imagine a very smart woman, a very elegant woman who loves a soft, gentle scent bubble around her, which is very posh, which is very luxurious. This is not something which you'll get from designer sandalwood based fragrances, not at all. And it has that VIP sort of feel. I'll be very honest with you. It has a boss sort of feel. It has a bossy sort of feel, but in a very gentle, delicate way which will go, which will complement a beautiful woman or any woman, women are beautiful, any woman for that matter, it will just, just add stars to her persona, to her confidence. Now let's talk about the performance. This is a soft fragrance for oily skins, but on dry skins, this can last for a very long time. If you're not getting performance out of this, I don't know. I got this, this perfume this year. So I'm telling you this is from the recent batches and it's absolutely delicious. Fantastic value for money, at least in my humble opinion. Root elements, the performance is intense even in summers. Uh, what you get out of this is an easy 12 hours, let's say 8 to 12 hours. In winters, that could extend you know, to uh, 16 hours maybe. On clothes, it works fine. Tom Ford is also a pretty linear scent. This one is also a pretty linear scent and uh, I have no complaints because the richness of the richness of the materials just compensates for lack of depth, for lack of complexity. But there's this, this beautiful feeling when I wear these fragrances. These are not complex. These don't challenge the nose a lot. There, there are no uh, harsh elements like leather. You know, you're not in a mood to, to wear oud and leather and all these creamy fragrances. And uh, that's why I love these fragrances a lot. So just in case you've tried both these fragrances, please put down your comments and uh, let me know. And yes, as always, thank you for watching, guys. My next review will be a very special one. So please watch out for that one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.